स्वीट होम ओन स्वीट होम आई ड्रीम ऑफ माई ओन स्वीट होम राइट योर राइट नाउ अमित इनामदार विल शो यू हाउ कॉल अमित एंड यूर सेट और जस्ट विजिट ओन स्वीट होम डॉट नेट डी आर ई लाइसेंस नंबर जीरो वन थ्री फाइव 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 टू टू एंड एन एम एल एस नंबर टू थ्री सिक्स फाइव सेवन फोर वेलकम पावर आवर लिसनर्स दिस इज आर जे रेणुका टूडे वी हैव अनादर एक्साइटिंग शो विद अमित इनामदार यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द पावर पैक थर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन टॉप टेन रियल स्टेट डील ब्रेकर्स वी ऑलवेज वेलकम यू टू टेक्सट एट फोर वन फाइव टू थ्री फोर होम टू गेट यूर क्वेश्चन आंसर्ड ऑन द रेडियो For past radio show archives, just go to Amit's website, ownsweethome.net. Hey, and you can always find Amit in Amdar just by searching his name on Google. So let's hear more from Amit. Hey, thank you, Renuka. Hello, friends. Own Sweet Home, and welcome to my show, Power Hour with Amit in Amdar. Real estate deals happen every day. Some are successful, and some are not. negotiations is at the center of all real estate transactions you may have heard this before everything is negotiable however that is within limits all parties are educated and have interest in the deal so no one is going to give up too much and be unhappy just to make the other party happy so it's always better to know what to negotiate and how to negotiate otherwise you may land on some deal breakers before or even during the transaction hello listeners if you have any questions today about real estate and loans amit will answer them for you right here right now just send your question via text to 415234 home for a response on the radio so amit tell us what can go wrong with the real estate deal well any deal any project requires putting together a successful team in real estate the immediate team members are the buyer's agent seller's agent escrow officer title officer inspectors appraiser insurance agents and possibly many other individuals big names do not necessarily mean better service it is all about having a collaborative efforts of the supply chain partners to close the deal smoothly Just imagine the complexity of the real estate transaction where we deal with 43 different people from 14 different industries to complete seven stages of the real estate transaction. Wow, that is a lot of professionals involved in the process of home buying and selling. And it is important that all of them work in sync to take the real estate transaction to completion. For example, a refusal by a title company to insure certain aspects of title defect may make the lender hold off the loan and buyer may not be able to buy the home damages mentioned in termite report may cause lender to hold off on delivering the funds until the defects are fixed leaky roofs and any structural problems may make buyer uneasy and not move ahead with the purchase so there are chances of many things that can go wrong and can turn into deal back breakers so first and foremost you need a successful closing team when it comes to a smooth real estate closing and second reason deal may break apart is due to participants acting unprofessionally well i see this happen sometimes and many buyers do not get accepted into a contract when i am representing the seller There are offers buyers have written where there are numerous errors and discrepancies. Even with a well written offer that gets accepted, buyer may delay depositing the money in the escrow on time, and seller may choose to cancel the contract unilaterally for buyer failing to perform a contractual action. Buyer and seller should respect each other's agents and should not go ahead with. with the discussions and communications with each other directly having an extra layer of agents in between uh, buyer and seller uh, helps isolate the emotional factors affecting the transaction i remember a situation where we were representing the seller and even after we had told the seller not to communicate directly with the buyer just because buyer wrote a nice offer he ends up sending a nice email to the buyer's agent saying hey thank you for the great offer you wrote we are looking forward to closing with your buyers without getting us involved 
and you know what happened later on the appraisal came in lower the buyer did not have an appraisal contingency and then the buyer said oh i want to have the price reduced mr seller you are so nice and the seller reduced the price by almost $20000 you know so you have to have that extra layer in, the, in between true and people need to listen to uh, what their professional advice they are getting true Amit, I have seen situations where seller is so upset with the buyer that they refuse to sell to specific buyer, even though you know that buyer is willing to pay substantially higher price. Absolutely, as I always said, the real estate transaction is both emotional and financial transaction, and has to be negotiated on both fronts. I can tell you many instances where a seller has accepted offer from my buyer that is lower than the highest offer, and sometimes with a lower down payment. rather than writing uh, you know fill in the blanks real estate contract an experienced negotiator like me focuses on win win situations where both parties are emotionally connected and have a fair financial dealing it may involve communicating on various levels to convince the other side that the buyer's loan will be done on time and how buyer and their family is committed to the neighborhood and the home in particular listeners you are listening to power hour with amit inamdar and today we are talking about top 10 real estate deal breakers so the third deal breaker may be failure to maintain excellent communication absolutely you know communication is what makes the deals go smoothly being upfront about upcoming issues keeping parties in the transactions informed about any roadblocks and proposed solutions helps develop trust and comfort level with the transaction purely hiding behind the text messages or emails for critical issues does not solve the problems imagine you have to remove real estate inspection contingencies on a certain date and you do not have reports from the inspectors it would be advisable to let the other party know of the delay so they do not go to the extreme of canceling the deal due to failure to remove contingency time is of essence in real estate transaction and keeping all parties informed and following the timeline is very critical the fourth deal breaker is releasing the confidential information to unsuspecting parties it's one thing to communicate right we talked about that among the parties to keep everybody informed and it is completely different to release confidential information about clients to other parties even before the deal letting other party know how high a buyer may pay or how low a seller may seller may accept may make other party greedy enough to stretch these limits to spoil the deal other times after being in contract disclosing the purchase price may make another agent to write offer that seller cannot refuse in such situation seller may find ways to kick the current buyer out of the contract or a knowledge that the seller would have accepted a lower offer may make current buyer to get out of the deal so information should be kept confidential and uh, it should remain so so amit we have a question uh, question from mr srini mm-hmm. and thank you srini for the question he wants to know why should home owner hire a sellers agent you know he says once on mls other buyers agent will come with qualified buyers and get the home sold <laughs> I uh, I mean yes MLS definitely is a great way of uh, propagating the listing among the interested parties however hi shrini thanks for your call okay and uh, actually the text uh, i understand why you would think so or one would think so however there are multiple aspects when it comes to selling real estate preparing your home for sale proper pricing proper marketing effective negotiations and making sure all legally required disclosures are prepared by the seller and given to the buyer to make the informed decision even by hiring an agent home stay on the market longer so not only you have to hire agent you have to hire a professional agent who knows how to prepare price and promote your home for sale so amit maybe it's good time to talk about your seven step smart move program do you want to tell uh, our listeners more about the program yeah, absolutely you know the home seller webinar that we have is going to guide you through the seven step smart move program the smart move program is designed to get top dollars for your home remember there is no exact price for real estate the price is where buyers and sellers agree on question is how do you make buyer to agree to paying higher this is where home pricing skills come in 
this is where home marketing skills come in and this is where negotiation skills come into play you have heard this again and again i am a certified real estate negotiations expert so the seven step smart move program takes advantage of these negotiation tactics as well as all the preparations required for a successful sale including home pricing and aggressive marketing the strategy at the heart of my seven step smart move program is greater exposure leads to greater demand that in turn leads to higher price homeowners if you are interested in knowing more just call me and request access to this comprehensive system home seller webinar is a must for every home seller especially when you are a first time home seller thank you amit so let's move on to the deal breaker number 5 mm-hmm. not knowing what to negotiate yes uh, i have seen buyers wanting to negotiate every item that is mentioned in the inspection reports there may be two or three critical high cost items and then 10 to 15 minor fixed items when you ask the seller to fix them all the argument i hear it's what's wrong in asking that's what the buyer says and then the buyer surprise you know when we submit all these repairs uh, requests uh, the seller accepts all minor items to be fixed and indicates that they have accepted 80 to 90% of the buyer's request this leaves critical items out of negotiations and buyer loses if buyer backs out at this juncture then both buyer and seller loses additionally there are certain things seller is required to keep with the property they are called attachments like window blinds the ceiling fans and alike however some of these items may have emotional value to the seller and those items may become non negotiable you know uh, also many times uh, you know same item repeats in various reports like i mean the repair item for example and some items are upgrades and some items are repairs and others are safety issues so you have to kind of make sure you are not repeating the uh, uh, things that need to be fixed uh, multiple times because they repeat in multiple reports so listeners you are listening to power hour with amit inamdar we are half way through the top 10 real estate deal breakers we are going to take a small break and we will be right back Have you joined the Happily Ever After Club? Happily Ever After Club? Ha uh-huh, ha, Happily Ever After Club. Membership is automatic once you buy your dream home from Amit Inamdar. He is both real estate and mortgage broker. One stop, no need to shop. Oh, Amit Inamdar from Own Sweet Home. Yes, that's Amit from O W N Own Sweet Home. Call him today 510-364-6686. Again 510-364-6686 or visit ownsweethome.net. That is O W N Own Sweet Home. dot net. The number zero one three five 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 two two and MLS two three six five seven four. Welcome back, friends. This is Amit Inamdar. And if you are in the market to sell, buy, or finance your home, you will get unbiased advice that will save you money. And that's my promise to you. To get hold of me, just Google my name, Amit Inamdar, real estate broker, and you will know ways to find me. Having all your questions answered at one location. and by one person means saving time money and having peace of mind that you are being cared for by someone like me who knows this business today we are talking about important topic of top 10 real estate deal breakers listeners if you have any questions today about real estate loans amit will answer them for you just send your question via text to 415234 home 415234 home for a response on the radio So before we continue with the topic I want to educate home buyers regarding the first time home buyer webinar that they can watch from the comfort of their own home Renu can you want to talk tell them about Sure Amit yes listeners the webinar is free and is easily accessible online on Amit's website ownsweethome.net that is o w n sweethome.net If you want to learn about current market and home buying you can view this first time home buyer webinar If you are a first time home buyer or just want to feel comfortable with the home buying process do visit the website and listen to the recorded webinar this will not only give you the overview of the home buying process it will also pre qualify you let you know more about neighborhood selections school selections and much more link is located on the main home page slider you cannot miss it 
हे एन इफ यू डू नॉट रिमेंबर द वेबसाइट जस्ट गुगल अमित इनाम दर रियल एस्टेट ब्रोकर एंड यू विल गेट टू अमित वेबसाइट आफ्टर यू हैव यूड द वेबिनार ऑल यूर क्वेश्चन मे हैव इन एंसर्ड एंड यू विल हैव न्यू क्वेश्चन दिस इज वेन यू कैन हैव वन ऑन वन मीटिंग विद अमित फॉर यूर प्री अप्रूवल एंड नेबरहुड सिलेक्शन सो टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टॉप टेन रियल इस्टेट डील ब्रेकर्स एंड वी आर गोइंग ऑन विथ डील नंबर डील ब्रेकर नंबर सिक्स विच इज मोल्ड इश्यू वाह देर हैज बीन अ ग्रेट डील ऑफ पब्लिसिटी रिगार्डिंग द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ टॉक्सिक एंड नॉन टॉक्सिक मोल्ड इन होम्स अपार्टमेंट्स एंड कमर्शियल बिल्डिंग्स करंट इन्फॉर्मेशन इंडिकेट दैट सम टाइप ऑफ मोल्ड मे कॉज सीवियर हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम फॉर सर्टन इंडिविजुअल Mold remediation may cost upwards of tens and thousands of dollars. It requires sealing of certain areas to get rid of the mold, even before the remediation expense to identify the mold in the property. May require an environmental professional to take samples and have them tested in specialized labs. Molds have caused by presence of past and present moisture, standing water, or water intrusion in the property. Most molds thrive on moisture, so mold issues can be a deal breaker. The inspector we use are knowledgeable to spot possibility of the mold. I remember for a home in Milpitas, there was a small dime-sized spot on the garage ceiling, uh, and they actually looked at that by flashing light at different locations, and they found that, uh, like you know, a hazy-looking uh, dime-sized uh, spot. and that led them to think there is a mold presence underneath the roof uh we had the same re- seller remedy the situation and my buyers were super happy to purchase a home that was mold free mold definitely is a serious issue and another serious is- issue that can break the deal is foundation issues amit mm-hmm. and that is our deal breaker number 7 yeah absolutely you know many times during inspections we see cracks on the wall and mostly these are settlement cracks and not foundation issues however there are certain neighborhoods in the bay area uh, that are known for poor soil conditions and have severe foundation issues even though the specific specific home may not have uh, you know issues today however knowing the neighborhood foundation troubles may develop in future foundation works remember guys cost lot of money I know a neighborhood in Pleasanton where a group of townhouses spent sixty thousand dollars each, okay, uh, to have the foundation issues reinforced for the whole eight-unit building. So, a lot of times it becomes critical to know if HOA covers any some structural issues or it is left to the homeowners. And then we have this uh, tilting tower of San Francisco that's in the news for some time, right? Yes. Yes, and that's again. I mean, they they dug deep. I mean, uh, for for all the uh, city code and everything, and still ended up finding this heavy uh, uh, foundation issues because the uh, the whole building is tilting now. True. So, listeners, you are listening to Power Hour with Amit Inam Dar, and today we are talking about top ten real estate deal breakers. So, our next deal breaker is number eight: is poorly managed homeowner association. Well, many buyers just ignore the set up homeowner association documents. You know, they come in bulk. You know, and uh, uh, there are so many of them and thick documents uh, that people just tend to ignore it. But those documents contain the budget, the newsletters, the financials of the uh, 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 homeowner association, and they tell a story hidden in the details. I have seen special assessments on poorly managed associations. as high as $40,000 per unit and uh, uh, i this this particular association was in freemont actually mm-hmm. and i remember uh, the townhouses basically had hr dues at that time this was in 1999 as around $350 per month and on the top of that since the outside was made out of wood shingles you know so there was not like a stucco or something it was wood shingles and they had never done any termite work on it and when they did the inspections the uh, inspection company ex- uh, suggested that anywhere from 40 to 50000 dollars may be the expense per unit to fix all these things and that was uh, like scary i mean selling a home in that complex was a nightmare at that point uh, so it is critical to know if the reserve 
for future work are fully funded. Uh, if there is any shortfall, that turns into special assessment. So this particular association did not have forty thousand dollars per unit. You know, mm -hmm. so homeowners would have to uh, foot the bill to to fix these problems. And termite issues are very uh, 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 important. I mean, and they need to be taken care of ASAP. And many times associations keep their dues low. You know, and they are not uh, by and by not fully funding for the future reserves. And they keep it low because home buyers want it low, home owners want it low, you know, and then it comes to bite them down the line. So poorly managed associations can be a deal breaker. Uh, home sellers will have trouble selling their units as the buyers may not want to take over those expenses. And today, even we have this uh, situation in uh, one of the apartment complexes too. Yes. You know, and uh, they're actually suing the. Uh, board, homeowner association board, which are the owners, they are getting sued by the uh, 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 rest of the homeowners because they think that they didn't do a good job of managing the property properly and doing the inspections on time. Wow. So, listeners, are you listening to what the deal breakers are in real estate? We are almost moving on to mistake number, you know, the deal breaker number nine, which is seller selecting a wrong buyer or buyer selecting a wrong house. Mm. You know, sometimes buyers get into contracts super excited, you know, and then they get cold feet. That means the seller did not do the due diligence on the buyer's emotional commitment and financial ability when selecting the buyer. Uh, buyer selection is one of the critical activities I do when representing the sellers. Having knowledge of the loan process makes it easy to select financially strong buyers. Additionally, we ask buyers agents critical questions that allow me to judge buyers commitment to the property. Alternatively, if buyers select a wrong house from basic needs standpoint, they may just have a buyer's remorse and deal may fall apart. In our dealings with the buyers, we have always reminded the buyers of their objections to home that they have rejected if such features appears to be the, in the home they like, you know, because we don't want them to get in the contract and then back out for something we already know that they don't like, you know. Some situations buyers have decided to move forward irrespective of the objection and other cases we continue to look for right home and either way it's okay because at the end the buyer is making informed decision. It's not about closing the deal uh, irrespective of at any cost, you know, but the buyer must be informed. And one of the things radio shows we do is called The One Thing. And that radio show called The One Thing is all about sellers selecting an emotionally qualified, emotionally uh, stable, okay, and those who like the home and the neighborhood mm -hmm. and financially strong buyer. You know, and that's the one thing every seller wants. And if you want, have any questions on that, just think about homes that are on the market longer. All they are waiting for is offer to come in. You know? And if the offer comes in and the buyer backs out, I mean, it's a, it's a painful situation. Uh, it's a stressful situation for the sellers. And then the price gets reduced and uh, they don't get what they want and all those things end up happening. So selecting a wrong buyer may hurt the sellers or buyer selecting a wrong house may just waste everybody's time. So listeners, you have been listening to Power Hour with Amit Inamdar. If you want to get hold of Amit, all you have to do is Google Amit Inamdar, real estate broker, and you will know ways to find Amit. Today we have been talking about top 10 real estate deal breakers. And the last one, number 10, is selecting a wrong agent. You know, real estate transactions are complex and selecting a wrong agent may mean you're not satisfied with the representation you receive. Many times it may be too late to cancel the deal. However, wrong advice may make your deal sour. Uh, it's so critical to have trusting relationship with your agent to close the transaction successfully. I remember some time back, one of the buyer, buyers who was buying a home in Fremont and the appraisal came in 30,000 lower than what he was offering. Uh, he had heard me on the radio, he was being represented by somebody else. He called me and said, what should he do? I said, just go forward with the deal, the market is going up. The guy still backs up, you know, and later on, a year later, buys another home for 100k higher in the same neighborhood. 
So you need an agent that puts the confidence in you. So thank you, Amit. Top 10 real estate deal breakers uh, we talked about today. It affects both buyers and sellers, and one should select an agent like Amit, who has extensive experience to guide you through the unforeseen scenarios that may derail the deal. Thank you, Reduka, and thank you, listeners, for today's Power Hour. Have a great week, and actually, great weekend. Uh, my week is just starting, own sweet home, and I'll be here next week. Have you joined the Happily Ever After Club? Happily Ever After Club? Ha uh ha, -huh, Happily Ever After Club. Membership is automatic once you buy your dream home from Amit Inamdar. He is both real estate and mortgage broker. One stop, no need to shop. Oh, Amit Inamdar from Own Sweet Home? Yes, that's Amit from OWN Own Sweet Home. Call him today, 510-364-6686. Again, 510-364-6686. Or visit ownsweethome.net. That is O W N own sweet home dot net. Three members zero one three five 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 two two and MLS two three six five seven four.